Today on the channel, a wise man once said, happy, happy, joy, joy. And today we're going to say happy, happy, joy, joy with the brand new Super 7 Ultimates of Ren and Stimpy. The spirit of the warrior will run forever. Kyle here and welcome back to the channel for another Super 7 Ultimates unboxing and review and today we've got something totally different something off the wall but something very very cool as we've got 90s cartoon favorites from Nickelodeon Ren and Stimpy but for all your Ren and Stimpy needs and a whole lot more make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% on all in stock items and of course anything over $39 does ship free you got to get a deal out there and once again that's what i did i waited for these to come in stock on entertainment earth hit it up save 10 percent we're off to the races with this video here today now this is an interesting one is this is a little bit off the beaten path of the normal action figures we talk about on the channel here but if you were a kid like me growing up in the 90s hey you were all about that first generation of nicktoons you loved yourself some rugrats you loved yourself some doug maybe oh doug funny what a funny guy not really but uh, a lot of people did love Ren and Stimpy, and that was always my favorite. Ren and Stimpy, Beavis and Butthead around that time, being, you know, 11 years old, whatever it was, what is time anymore, was all the rage. I really enjoyed Ren and Stimpy in the first incarnation. Uh, what was it, like Saturday nights? It was like Ren and Stimpy and Are You Afraid of the Dark on uh, After Dark Nick or something like that. It was really cool, and Ren and Stimpy is really good. And I tried to show it to my kids not too long ago, and they had nothing to do with it. It was It's past it. It must be a certain window of opportunity where you enjoyed your Ren and Stimpy. But I always did enjoy Ren and Stimpy. I've had different Ren and Stimpy figures over the years, and it's one of those collections where I usually bring to my office at work, and you have Ren and Stimpy there. It's not like I need a whole universe of characters, uh, just representation. And that's what we got right here from Super 7. And this is an interesting one, is this did come out a couple of years ago originally. I want to say, don't quote me, but if you want to, quote me. Uh, it came out during COVID time frame. And I think with COVID and all the craziness that went on with COVID, these flew under a lot of people's radars, including mine. And I think a lot of people missed the opportunity on this. So Super 7 did something they don't do very often. They went back to the well re-released these and said, okay, we're going to have another pre-order window for these and we're going to ship these bad boys out. And that's where I did get these from the second uh, go around the sun with these guys. So very cool of uh, Super 7 to put these ultimates back out. And like I said, this is a one and done, one offline, a one shelf collection, a one desktop collection, things like that. And I think that's how the majority of people buying these are probably going to uh, entertain them in their display. But of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So let's start it off here uh, with old Ren, the Chihuahua with the heart of gold. Kind of the evil one. I guess he was always worse to Stimpy. Stimpy was uh, the lovable, uh, kind of uh, not all there guy. And Ren was always kind of the leader of the group. Uh, very interesting, as you can imagine, between these two, this is an extreme extremely light box. This is an extremely heavy box. Got to think this one costs a little bit more to make. Uh, kind of blend it together. And who's going to buy Ren without Stimpy? And who's going to buy Stimpy without Ren? It's really a package duo here. So that makes a lot of sense to me. One thing to note here, I think for the first time in a lot of years, at least, correct me if I'm wrong, we did not get a slip cover with these. So usually we have a slip cover that goes over the top. No slip cover with these. So I thought that was interesting. Unless mine were just uh, misshipped without them. But I did not have a slip cover with either of these guys in my packaging. Which is okay. And I gotta say, these are way bigger than I assumed they were going to be. I figured they'd be decent ultimate size. Uh, but I'm blown away how big these figures are. So a uh, very cool one. And make note of those things first before we got too far into it. But there is old uh, Ren right here. Looking really good. Quite the big packaging here. Very cool graphics of Ren Stimpy type graphics. Big window box. Tons of accessories in this one. Nothing too fun on the side. But we do got some decoration on the package. And then back there, there's the old Ren and Stimpy logo. Looking really good. No blurb. Nothing like that going on. Uh, for those keeping track at home, you do have Ren at the top, obviously, because it is Ren. Makes sense. And just like this one with Stimpy, you got Stimpy on top because, hey, it's Stimpy. There you go. And like I said, much heavier than Ren, but that does make a lot of sense. Plenty of accessories once again inside here. Just a big, big box. I uh, got Ren Stimpy logo down below, of course, for Stimpy. And on the back, Stimpy once again. Very, very cool. All right. Well, I'm going to take these two both offline. Going to get these out, unbox, get everything out, and we'll be back talking all things Super 7 Ultimate, Ren and Stimpy. 
All right, we got Ren and Stimpy out of the package. Let's dive into the accessories first. But however, I wanted to point out this little Easter egg on the packaging. Oh joy, oh joy, it says. That's for Stimpy's box. And then Ren, of course, got a little saying for him. You idiot, right there. So some classic uh, Ren and Stimpy phrases in the packaging. A fabulous job on the packaging. Just very, very cool. But now we got to break these figures down. And we're going to start with Ren first. I guess the little chihuahua goes first. Always dogs before cats. Sorry, cat people. Dogs before cats. That's what we're doing here on the channel. But let's break it down. Let's look at these hands here. Uh, we got two kind of flayed out hands on Ren here. And then we get two more flayed out hands. A little bit longer fingered hands here. I don't know. I don't know if you really need extra hands with Ren and Stimpy, but they're here. And I'm happy to report Ren does come with two fists of fury. You never know when this chihuahua is going to get hot-headed and throw down, uh, punch some people, things like that. He can do it. I can see it. I can see it. Uh, so we do get those hands. Uh, we do get some extra accessories here. We do get kind of his, what is that, Fez hat? Is that what this is called? Uh, there was an episode where he was wearing this. Maybe multiple episodes, if I remember right. But we do have this. It is, of course, uh, open in the top. And I believe probably only fits one of these heads. And we'll, we'll see when we get to that part. But uh, nice uh, here. It's an accessory that I think a lot of people remember from the show, him wearing that hat. Uh, another one, too, is one of the episodes where uh, they were all about the nipples. All about the nipples. And aren't we all, really, at the end of the day? Uh, but this is, of course, uh, from like a baby bottle nipple of a bottle. They wore those on their heads. So we do get one of those uh, with Ren as well. And then we do get a ham plate. We get, it looks like pig faces in there, but a nice uh, little plate here with a bunch of ham slices. Uh, everybody loves lunch meat, unless you don't. I'm not a big lunch meat guy myself. Uh, yeah, it's just not for me, but uh, you do get some of that here. Uh, so there it is. So that is the accessories. And we do get two extra heads plus the head that is on here. But let's break this one down. And I got to start with the articulation on old Ren here. Ren Hook, I believe was his last name. was an H-O-E-K, I believe. I believe that's right. But his arms do go all the way around. You do get arms up and down, side to side. So you do get a little of that. We do get wrist articulation side to side. And of course, the hands are removable. Head back and forth, side to side, up and down. Pretty good mobility there. And you do get legs back and forth, side to side, so you get typical articulation there. Uh, and then you do not get foot articulation. But feeling this in hand, it does feel a little heavy, of course. But it also, uh, it feels like a figure, but not an action figure. And I think when I say that, it's not your typical action figure. It's not a Mattel Elite. It's not just a typical Super 7 figure. Uh, definitely different proportions. There's no ab crunch, things like that. It does feel a little bit hollow. Uh, and I don't want to say cheap, but it feels just different than an action figure. But it is definitely heavy, uh, definitely top heavy in the head department with Ren especially here as uh, he does have a huge head his heads are about the size of his whole body as we do know uh, but good coloring here throughout definitely looks you definitely know who this is when you see it big teeth grin going on here big big mouth uh, wide open his ears are down you got the nice pink in the ear and then you got the little poof of hair at the top very sharp though very pointy up there I, I would have preferred this to be soft plastic you kind of move around a little bit you got two big old eyes, mismatched, different size, uh, but definitely looks like Ren all day long. Not sure exactly what to do on the hand department. The hands are very interesting. I guess that's just Super 7 giving us a little bit more, but for me, I didn't even need any extra hands with this. I think just one set of hands, whatever they were, would have worked fine for me. But I do appreciate uh, the extra hands here. Uh, made in China, what does it say? 2022 Viacom Super 7 on the bottom. So, of course, obviously they had to license this via Viacom. There is no peg holes on the bottom of these, so uh, we'll see how well does he stand on his own. Well, you know, you don't even really need stands for this guy. Even with that big head, he stands just fine. Some of these extra heads we have here, uh, we get a closed mouth head, a little bit docile head, kind of almost a smiling uh, kind of head going on there, uh, but the mouth is together, same kind of eyes going on, the ears are perked up this time. Uh, does this fit on this one? I mean, you could put that on there. Uh, that little poof of hair kind of helps hold that hat in, so you can choose where you want that hat uh, on whichever head you want it to be on, but uh, definitely good. I think between these two, I'm going to have the wide open one. And then I guess I like this one probably the best. This is when I think of uh, Ren here is how I think of it more. The tongue hanging out, big teeth, big open mouth, big excited eyes, ears at attention. 
looking really, really good. The head goes in on the ball joint just like a typical figure. Uh, so it is choose your own head adventure, but for me, first impressions, I'm leaning towards the wild one. This one's really going to stand out on the shelf. Looks really good. So there it is. There is Ren, a fabulous, fabulous figure. Uh, it almost walks the statue figure line, but it does have articulation. A lot more articulation, I guess, than I assumed it had. Uh, but still, a good representation of Ren. Possibly the best Ren figure of all time. I, I would go that far. Now we turn it over to the Crown Jewel, and I'm saying Crown Jewel because you guys know I love big figures, and Stimpy is a big figure, and he comes with a ton of accessories uh, compared to Ren, who has a decent amount, but Stimpy is not messing around in the accessory department here today. Uh, so let's break this one down. We'll break it down with the hands first. He's got two gripping hands on him, and then here we get two basically very similar sets of hands you get a totally splayed out and you get one with a little bit of curve to the fingers uh, very very similar those ones are probably the more close to fist of course they're the gripping hands uh, but once again a lot like Ren Stimpy for me I didn't really need extra hands but hey we'll take it at the end of the day now we break down we do get another nipple this one is bigger so you're not going to mix these two's up these two up uh, this one does go on Stimpy's head so you do get that uh, you get a dead fish, uh, so there it is. You got the bones going, very cartoon-esque, very good paint color on this, no slop or anything like that. Love the maroon lips with the blue on the inside. This does pop, and of course, cats, they love fish. It makes all the sense in the world. Uh, we do get this guy here. Gosh, what is this guy? Is this uh, like a booger? Wasn't there an episode where you had like a booger hanging out of his nose or something and didn't like come to life? Is that what that is? Not sure. It's been a long time since I've watched Ren and Stimpy, but uh, very cool, very good green color, very... Uh, snot color, I guess is what we would call that one as. Uh, where's Muddy Mud Skipper? That's who we needed in here. They should have thrown him in somewhere there. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what this guy is. It's a little ghost action. Is this like a fart ghost? Is that what that was from uh, back in the day? Is kind of coming to me a little bit, uh, but it kind of looks to be like that. I think that's what he's supposed to be. He's got a very smiley face on him with his eyes closed. Like he's just loving, he's loving what he dealt right there. And he does come on his own little flight stand, which is interesting as well. So we do get that. And then we do get some kitty litter. Uh, we get the gritty kitty litter, of course, a famous one from the show. Uh, nice solid here. There's no bend to it or anything. It's just a big chunk of plastic, a little bit of weight to it. But it does look really good. And you got Stimpy right there on the cover. And then you actually get a litter box. And I really do like this litter box. It looks really, really good. It definitely looks like a litter, kitty litter sand. Just very, very cool. And then you can see the indention for the feet here. So this does work as a stand as well. Because we'll see how well Stimpy stands. He looks very top heavy. So we're going to have to investigate how well he's going to stand. I guess we could do that right off the bat. We'll put him in here, see how well this works. Look at that. He stands in there just fine. But can he stand without this? Ugh, might be a little difficult. Not that difficult at all. So it uh, really is uh, pick your poison, but definitely I'm going to have him standing in this litter box. I think it looks really good. I love that it's this Stimpy right there on the front. Very, very good attention to detail. Very, very cool there. But now we get down to Stimpy. Uh, Stimpy is just a big chunk of plastic here, and I really do like the tongue hanging out of the side, this head, the big blue nose, got the eyes. Stimpy, just a friendly cat, just a nice guy with a heart of gold, uh, very loving compared to Ren, who's always uh, flipping out at a moment's notice for sure, as we all know. He's got a little bit of hair just like Ren had and very sharp once again. You got the two cat ears there. We got the yellow gloved hands. I, I guess gloved hands, probably not gloves, but you know what I mean. We got the yellow hands. Choose your own hand adventure. I'm not sure which way I'm going on the hand department for this guy. Uh, then you do get the arms. They do go side to side. They do go all the way around. Hands removable, hands side to side. No ab crunch, no head movement, anything like that. Lights why it goes to being a little bit of a chunk of plastic here. And then you do get the legs. You do get a little back and forth, side to side. And then you do get some uh, ankle, some foot movement back side to side. But not a ton of articulation with him. He is just kind of a big chunk of plastic. But that works for what we're dealing with here. He can't be Spider-Man after all. We do get an extra head for him. And boy, oh boy, this is another good one. It matches that red one, the wild one with the tongue sticking out. You got the big old teeth, the red background, the happy looking eyes. Looks really good. How does this pop off? No, oh, just like so. It's almost like Mr. Potato Head is what this feels like. Just slide this on, see how this looks here. Maybe. There we go. Pops in very easy. Ooh, I don't know. I'm torn. I'm going to have to figure out which way to go on my display. I guess stay tuned. We'll figure it out when I do do a room tour uh, very soon. Maybe already on the channel by the time you're watching this. You never know. 
Uh, but boy, does this look good. This looks good. This is Ren and Stimpy. This is exactly what I was hoping this to be. I didn't need it to be Spider-Man articulation. I didn't need it anything wild. I just wanted a representation of Ren and Stimpy, a childhood favorite cartoon of mine. Just one and done display. Just these two guys living the dream on a shelf. And that's exactly what we got here, Ren and Stimpy. It's the early 90s all over again is what we got here. And these guys do look really, really good. For some uh, size comparison here, there is uh, Lion-O from Super 7 Ultimate Edition. So you can kind of see that height difference. Definitely bigger, bigger and badder Stimpy here, but a little height goes to Lion-O. I do got old Captain Deadstar here as well uh, for another articular, another uh, comparison right here. But you put him next to Ren, you can see that as well. So very, very cool one and done universe. And I would love to see some more of these. I think there would be some money uh, in the Rugrat characters, maybe the Doug character. Uh, I don't know, Rocco's Modern Life? How about Rocco? I might pick up Rocco. I don't think I'd need the cow, though, but Rocco would work. I wouldn't get anything from Doug. I, I don't need him. I don't know. What was he, Quail Man or something? I don't, I don't need any of that. Get, get, get Doug out of here. I don't need him. Uh, Rugrats would be all right, but there's too many Rugrats. Uh, in, more, one, in more ways than one, there's too many Rugrats. Uh, I wouldn't buy that line. Even though I did enjoy some Rugrats as a little kid, uh, too many characters, I don't need all those. But uh, one and done, like uh, Rocco from Rocco's Modern Life, I'd probably pick that one up. But I'm pretty content here with Ren and Stimpy. These are very, very cool for what they are. Not sure if they're still on stock on Entertainment Earth, but if they are, hit the old link in the description below. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10% on these guys. You won't regret it, especially if you're a fan of these back in the day. But what say you guys out there in YouTube land? You a Ren Stimpy fan? You picking these up? You passed on them? Did you even know they existed? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. You might as well like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Turn the notification bell. And of course, we do got videos every single day, as you guys know. We got even more content over on the Patreon. Early access to videos like this, bonus content, exclusive content, giveaways, Q&As, you name it. And best of all, you do support the channel. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. You could be rocking and rolling, strutting and strolling like me uh, over at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And then don't forget to hit me up on social media. SirPaul64 is where you're going to find me on Twitter. Instagram, the underscore Kyle, underscore Peterson. So for Ren and Stimpy and Nickelodeon everywhere, I am Kyle, and I'll see you guys all real soon.